Hello everybody, uh, this is going to be a video for the D3 deliverable, which is essentially to make a tutorial, manual, online help system, or some kind of a instructional piece to show how to use EasyDita. This is your D3 project. So I'm going to Pull up the slides for our uh, all of our deliverable requirements. This was the class four slides. You can get that at D2L. And I'm going to show you all of the requirements here. Now I'm not going to show you how to create the user manual or the tutorial or the help system. I'm going to let you figure out how to do that yourselves. But what I, what I will do is I will demonstrate all of the requirements and then you can document all of these things in your tutorial. I will say tutorial, but when I say tutorial, I mean tutorial, user manual, or help system, whichever you choose to do. So um, there are a couple of definitions here. A uh, first order function is something that's at the um, uh, A2, A3, A4 level. A second order function, or excuse me, a sub function is at the level of uh, 8.4.1. Um, <coughs> so uh, a su 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 success criteria is that users must be able to complete each function, uh, first order function and sub function without any other guides or existing easy data knowledge. So when I grade these projects, what I will do is I will use your tutorial. I will assume I know nothing about easy data and I must be able to do the task that you are defining um, by using nothing more than your documentation. Okay, so uh, the first thing you need to do is provide an overview of Easy Data. Uh, there are a number of ways you can do that. Uh, you could take a look at the documentation that I have linked in uh, D2L and that could give you some idea. The second thing you need to be able to do is to log in, excuse me, you need to be able to show is to log in so I'm going to uh, demonstrate how we do that. So you will need to show the users that they are able to log in by typing in their user ID and their password at the URL provided to them by the Easy Data Administrator. So I'm going to do that. Okay, so I'm logging in. So that's the first thing that you need to be able to describe in the uh, online help system. Uh, the second thing that you need to do is to show how to create a new folder. So I'm going to go into my author portion and I'm going to go into the folder that's assigned to me and we'll say that's uh, folder 12. Okay, and I'm going to let's see here. I think that's not been assigned to anybody. Okay, let's use uh, unit 11. Okay, so I'm going to show how to create a new folder. So I will say create. No, I won't. I will go to this little folder icon and I will click that. It will ask me for the folder and I'm going to call this um, my project. And I'm going to go ahead and let it default to the open folder at after create. Okay, the next thing that we need to do is create a new concept. So I'm going to say create new default concept. And I'm going to call it my con. And I'm going to uh, peek here with the next requirement. Okay, show. Okay. So I'm going to then create and edit. Okay, so Easy Data is creating that concept for me. While it's doing that, I'm going to look to see what the next requirement is. It's to show the code view. Okay, so as soon as I get my concept here, I'm going to edit and I'm going to make sure that people know that I have to click on the edit button, not on those little 
uh, down arrow and then I'm going to select source code and if I were doing this tutorial I would probably be taking screenshots of a lot of this stuff so there's my source code the next requirement is to show pretty print in code view so I'm going to click my pretty print button and even though it really doesn't do anything uh, in previous versions of easy data the the uh, view of the code was all on one line one or two lines and by hitting pretty print it would uh, put the code on uh, in a pretty in a readable way like this okay um, create a new title so I'm going to actually um, go back into my I'm going to actually close this view which will make me need to open this again for editing so I'm going to click my little edit button <coughs> and I'm going to add a title okay so I'm going to it, by default when I entered my concept name it gave me that as a title so I'm going to backspace over that and I'm going to call this um, car parts no I'm not I'm going to call it guitars okay and then I'm going to need to add a new description for a.4.3 new description okay I've done that uh, four point a point four point four is to add a paragraph I'm going to add a paragraph there's my paragraph okay I'm going to add a figure with a caption and an image okay I'm going to add a figure with a caption and an image so I'm going to say insert figure and there's my caption I'm going to quickly type in the caption G U I T A R 1 I'm going to then I'm going to click in here on the icon and I'm going to say change and it's going to want me to navigate to an image directory so I'm going to go to this images directory and I'm going to click on David Gilmore guitar and I'm going to say select and it puts the guitar image in there for me okay very nice uh, insert a definition list with term and definition okay so I'm going to go into insert definition list with my term and my definition okay insert an unordered list with two bullets and two second order bullets okay I can actually do that this way oops nope I'm gonna not do that so I'm gonna control Z undo that I'm gonna go in here and I'm going to say insert unordered list and I'm going to put my first bullet here um, and I'm going to hit enter these are my first order bullets I'm going to hit enter and then I'm going to hit my tab button and I'm going to get a second order list I'm going to write uh, um, 19 or thin line that's a kind of telecaster and I'll put another one in here um, uh, red okay um, insert a simple table with three rows and three columns okay go 
going to go outside of my list here, Oops. outside of my paragraph. I'm going to insert a table. I think I said with three, insert a table, simple table with three rows and three columns. Okay, table, insert a table with one, two, three, three columns, one, two, three rows, and click. And it didn't show up. Okay. It's okay. So I think I need to, like I always say, unless I do something egregiously wrong, I'm just going to keep plotting on. So I'm going to, maybe I'll put my table up here. Under my paragraph. Let's try that. It doesn't say where I have to put it. Nope, that's not one of my choices. Okay. Insert simple table. Two, three, one, two, three. Click. Oh, there it is. Okay, good. And it looks like I have a heading and three uh, columns, and three rows. Um, save the concept. Okay. I'm going to save. Okay. And now I'm going to go on to the next page. Create a new reference. This we're on to A5, so I'm going to close this. And I'm going to create new default reference. Okay. Uh, my ref. Create an edit. Okay. Uh, show code view. I'm not going to demonstrate that because you've already seen how to do that. And you've already seen how to do the pretty print. I'll go ahead and put my new title in. Okay. I'm going to need to create a short description. Okay. I'm going to need to add a section. Okay, this is something new. So I'm going to insert section and I'm going to pause my tape Call from. okay here I am back so we just entered a title and we entered a description now and we entered a section now we need to create a new section title okay so So title. Now we need to create, uh, insert a property table in easy data called property reference with a prop type, prop value, and prop description. Okay, so let's do that. Insert. What did I say it was? Property reference okay property reference with a prop type prop value prop description okay save the reference I will save and I will close. My next requirement is to create a task, A6. Okay, create new default task. Call it my task. Create an edit. Show it in code view, show it in pretty print view. You've seen both of those. New title, new description, and new context. Okay. New title. Just 
description. Add a context, okay? Okay. Add steps and two step elements, each with a command. Okay, so I'm going to add steps. And the steps is already there. If we look at the code view, steps is already there, and a step and a command. Okay. So I'm going to actually do something a little bit different here. I'm actually going to add my two steps in the edit view. I copied that and I'm going to paste. Okay, so I have two steps here. You don't have to show this way, I'm just doing it. Um, The old strings off. Open the new string package. Okay, I'm going to save. Okay, that actually made my two steps. After the second command, add an info element and a note. Okay, there's my second command. The insert. information. Maybe that's what I meant. Okay. Uh, and a note. a choice table after the info with two choices hint you can add a row in the table menu okay oops insert I have to read that instruction again. Oh, choice table. Add a choice table after the info. Okay. Insert. Choice table. Okay, there's my choice table. with two rows. Hint, you can add a row in the table menu. Okay, there's one row. Insert a row after. There, I've done it. We'll call this one. We'll call this two. Call this E. Call this A. <coughs> okay. Add a result and save the task. Okay. There's our new result. Um, I 
and save the task. Okay, and I see that I've got an error here, so let's see what that is all about. Suggest change the attribute of ID, okay. Okay, so I did that. Okay, so now we're on to the next page. Delete a topic, any topic, okay. So in order to do that, I'm going to save this. And I'm going to close it. And I'm just going to create a topic simply to, de to delete. So I'm going to create a task. My task to delete. Okay, so I'm just going to create that. Okay, so it says I need to delete one. So I'm going to go into my three buttons here, my three dots, and I'm going to remove. And yes, I'm sure. And that removed it or deleted it. Okay, create a data map. Okay. So I'm going to create new default map. And I'm going to call it my map. I'm going to create an edit. Okay, so that put the map over here in this pane. It might be useful to point that out to the readers. Okay, so link a concept, reference, and task to the map and then save it. Okay, so I'm going to link my concept. So I'm going to just grab it and drag it over, put it under here, and say insert. Then I'm going to grab my reference, and I'm going to drag it over here under the concept. I'm going to insert it, and I'm going to grab my task, and drag it under here, and I'm going to insert. Okay, and I'm going to save. Okay, and then it says publish HTML, publish PDF, and then download each of those. Okay, so I'm going to in this map, I'm going to publish. I hit the publish button there. I'm going to select the did open toolkit. First I'll do my HTML. So I'll do a new publish. Add a description. My HTML. And I'm going to pick 1.5.3 and I'm going to click the add button. English is good. Trans type, I'm going to say XHTML. And I'm going to hit my publish button. And I'm going to observe that it's running. I might take a screenshot of this if I were writing a tutorial. And then I see that I have my result, my HTML. I'm going to do a new publish then. And I'm going to call it my PDF going to change it to trans type to PDF and I'm going to publish. Okay, it's running. It's in progress. And there we have my PDF and my HTML. Okay, and then I'm going to download the HTML and then download the PDF. Okay, so I'm going to click on my HTML. And I'm going to click my download button. And I'm going to save file. And I'm going to navigate to my desktop. To my data directory. That I've created for my class. And I'm going to just save it right here. Here. I'm actually, I'm going to save it in my downloads directory that I created for another purpose, and I'll just leave it as my map. Save that. Okay, I'm going to close that. And I'm going to do the same thing with my PDF file. So I'll go into my PDF, and I'll hit download, and I'll say save. And I'm going to Save it right there. Okay, and I'll 
click that and just to verify I'll go to my data directory into my downloads folder okay and I'm just going to unzip this one by right clicking extract all and I will say yes extract it here okay I'll do the same my other one right click extract all and I'll accept the default place where it's going to extract it okay and I'll look at each of those so I have my HTML okay with my topics linked very nice okay and if I look at my other folder I'll see that if I drill in have my PDF file and sure enough it has all of those topics that I put in there okay <coughs> so I've gotten through uh, step a 9.2 so now let's go to back into the tutorial or excuse me into my task that I'm demonstrating to you so that you can make your tutorial the next thing I need to do is to add a conref so I will go into my concept for step A10 and I will edit it So I will go down here into my paragraph and I will say reuse content, insert conref, and I will navigate to my space gadgets directory into documents. Into company information to company information dot data at least I think I am okay and I'll pick the second one the paragraph and I'll select it and it inserted it at the first valid place that it could go. Okay, I'll save. Open a concept. Okay, I just demonstrated how to do that. Add the conrefs. Okay, and I just did that. Okay, so now I need to download the HTML. Um, I've already shown you how to do that, or have I? Yes, I have. Okay. Uh, grad students only remove a topic from a map Okay, so I'm going to go to my map, close this, go into my map, and I will right click on this element, and I will say remove element, and it's gone. <coughs> Grad students only show where a topic is used, uh, and never mind this uh, hint editor here. Uh, we'll just go right into the topic over here. and we will click into our three 
bars here and we'll hit links and it shows that it's used in my data map okay so I'll get rid of that grad student only show how to compare one version of a topic to another version okay so I don't know if we have more than one version of these oh yes we do we added two things here so I'll go ahead and once again go into my three bars here and I'll say history Well, I guess I only have one version. Oh, here's my revision. Details. Okay, I, I think I've only got one version of this, so why don't I do make another version? Uh, so I'm going to open this. And I'm going to edit this. Here I'm going to insert another. Um, let's see here. From here I'm going to insert another paragraph. Um, I'm going to save that, and I'll close. Now I'll go into the history again. Okay, so now I have different versions. I have my first version, or my most recent, this version 5, version 4 doesn't have that paragraph. Version 3 um, is, is also different. Okay? So that's how I showed the difference between two versions. Okay? Grad students only uh, add another uh, topic about what is DITA. Grad students only show how to download a zip of a map and all of its descendants. Okay? So I'm going to hit go into my map right click nope that's not right it's uh as i said if i unless i make an egregious mistake i'm just going to keep going so i'm kind of figuring this out like the same time that you do in my map and i'm going to say preview okay And I don't see how to download it from here. Okay, so maybe I will look at that hint, like I said, in real time. Um, click map, pick download. Okay, click map. Or maybe I need to be, maybe I need to close this. Okay, so I'll close that. And I'll pick my map. Is this what I meant? Oh, download plus dependencies. Okay, so I'm in my map, and I hit my little three buttons here, three three dots, and I say download plus dependencies. And I'm going to save. Into that same downloads directory. I'm going to call it something like um, download plus. Plus tip. Okay, I'm going to look in that directory and 
There it is. So I'll extract it. I'll extract it right here. Okay. And if I look into that directory, I see that I have my unit one, my project, my uh, did a map and my, my two topics that were linked and I have my conref information as well. Okay, so uh, that was A-15, oops, so um, then we have to say what is a con Except reference task, what is a map, and what is reuse. So those are topics that you would write yourself. And then the minimum functionality is that the user must be able to navigate each of the first order functions uh, and do the things that you're telling them how to do. Uh, a first order function I, I mentioned before, uh, what that is. Uh, visual aids, graphics, or screenshots for each first order function are required. And for the sub functions, they're optional. So I would be taking screenshots and I would be adding those to my tutorial if I were you. You need to add an alternate description uh, for visual aid for users uh, using screen readers or text-only readers, and you would use their your alt element in your uh, fig. So we showed how to do that before. Uh, just real quickly, I'm going to call that up again, and I'm going to go into my concept, and I'm going to edit it, and I'm going to go into my figure, eventually here and when I get to my figure I will add a concept or excuse me an alt um, somewhere in here maybe it goes down here add alt okay I'm adding my alt and I'm gonna say um, David Gilmore guitar. So that's my alt text there. I'll save it. Okay. So you'll want to do one of these for each one of your images. Um, and then uh, the publication requirements are that you have to uh, publish an HTML or XHTML a PDF. And if you're a, doc, a grad student, you have to publish uh, a doc book. And in order to do that, you'll have to export the easy data and compile it yourself in the Data Open Toolkit. Okay. So in order to evaluate that, um, for each part A, you'll get 0.6 uh, uh, for worth one point. Um, so the maximum for an undergrad is nine, uh, 10, a maximum for a grad is 9. Uh, for each part B, the minimum functionality is worth two points, uh, so that's a maximum of six. For each part C, uh, the requirement is worth uh, two points. Doc book is worth one point for grad students. So if you do all that math, that equals 20 points. Okay, so these are Bs, these are, these are Cs, these are Bs, these are As. Okay, so hopefully that'll help you. As I said, I'm not going to show you how to write your tutorial. I'm only going to show you how to do the steps that it, uh, I require to be in that tutorial and you can do the creative writing yourself and I expect that this you guys will all do a great job. Thank you.